Hey everyone. So this is a video um, for, uh, for it's a, an example of doing CSS animations to add a little bit of pizzazz. This is uh, Maria's part of Maria's design. And um, we were talking about maybe having things falling into this box. So I did a really quick and dirty um, just box with stars. I, um, I save them as two pieces. So one is the front of the box and the other is kind of the rest of the box so that I can kind of position them on layers. So it looks like the stars are going in into the box. So I saved these as uh, there's like stars, there's box front and then box back. And I started a replit. So let's go take a look at what I've got. Let me zoom out here. Okay, so on my index page, I have a card that's basically going to be, I'm just calling it card because it made sense. Uh, I want it to have um, position um, relative so that I can position the box where I want it um, and position the back of the box and the front of the box in the same space. And also I want to have like overflow hidden so that the it looks like the the stars are kind of falling from the sky from nowhere. Um, so actually, let me just, uh, I don't know, I'll just put a paragraph. Um, this is a paragraph to make some space above the box. So it'll be easier to see. Okay, so, and then in CSS, what I've done is, um, so here's my class of box front. Here's my class of box back. And there's my stars with a class of stars. In my CSS, I have the card is the, the main card um, that has all these things in it. It is position relative so that anything inside of it that wants to be absolute, it's going to say, what's my nearest parent that has a position of relative? And it's going to find the card. So it'll, it'll position itself within the boundaries of the card. Um, for the purposes of this demo, I just made it a specific width and height so that we can um, see the, the real estate more easily. And then I just put a dashed border around it so that we could see it. Um, also, because I always do just straight borders, I thought I would play with like dashed borders. There's also dotted borders. There's a few different types of borders you can do. Okay, so box back has a position of absolute. It's going to look up to card and say, okay, cool. I'm in this card. I want to be at the bottom the very bottom and I want to be at the very far left. And since this is the back, I want it to be the farthest back. So I've given it a Z index of one. The box front, I've given it a Z index of two because I want it to be in front of everything, including the stars. Um, it also has a position absolute and it's also, it's positioned in the same exact place. So they're kind of overlapping each other. So what happens is this one draws in the back and this one draws in the front in the same place. The stars are a Z index of one. So they'll be in between the front and the back. And um, I'm going to use transform translate to do translate Y, which is the up and down axis to, uh, to do my animation. So I'm going to click run just so we can take a look at what we've got so far. So there's my paragraph space. There's my stars. And if I use the, um, inspect tool, I can try the translate Y. Oop, what did I just do? The translate Y thing on stars um, and verify that the stars are actually going inside the box. So that's looking good. It's in front of the background. I want it to go a little farther down so I can see um, that it's like in the it's not in the foreground. Okay, so it looks perfect. It looks like it's going right in the box like I want it. Cool. So we're going to start, we're going to start our animation with the translate y of zero, and then they're going to fall into the box. So let's do that. Let's do, um, let's think about what we're going to do. Um, yeah, we'll just make an animation. Um, so for stars, we're going to animate stars. So I'm going to say um, animation dash name is um, call it um, star fall. And um, then 
we're going to say animation duration. We'll do it for like two seconds. And then um, animation, I think it's fill mode is the other one we need. Um, and we'll do forwards. And that will make it only go forwards and not kind of go forward and back. Um, I think that's all we need. So now let's build our keyframe. So we're going to say at keyframes, keyframes. OK, I was misspelled that. Um, and the name of it is Starfall. We're going to make a curly bracket. And then you can say to and from. I like to say 0% to 100% because then I can always kind of change things. Like what if I want to rotate it partway through? I can. It's easier to add percentage than it is to take it away. So then it is to, to have to change the to and from value to percentage. So so let's do translate y to, I don't know, 500 pixels. Um, let's try it. So this will, this will trigger on reload of the page. Um, so let's refresh. Let's close this so we can see it in full glory. Okay, sweet. Um, let me get this out of the way and make my page a little bit bigger. So refresh. Whee! And we could even add a bit of, oh, see how it like slows down at the end? Um, that is easing. So we could change the easing. Um, but what I think I want to do is add a little bit of a delay. So if we go here and we say animation delay, Let's just delay it for like, I don't know. We'll just do two seconds and see how that looks. Refresh. Okay, two seconds. Whee! Um, and so there you go. Um, and we could, you know, change it so that it, the last star is all the way in. I kind of like it peeking out, though. I just sort of picked a number and it, um, it worked well. Um, if we want to like change the size of this box, what we could do is we could say um, it's 100% of the viewport height. Maybe we'll keep the width the same. Um, and so now the box should be, oh right, it's got that paragraph in on top of it. Oh, one other thing I want to check is that the overflow is working. Um, I don't even know if we need it in this instance, but if we change the default translate to negative number, let's just make it fall from really high up and then we'll give it um, maybe three seconds instead. So it should be off screen, I'm hoping at this point. Um, and then because I've got that paragraph, I think I'll just change the height to uh, uh, like 90% of the viewport height. Okay, so let's refresh. Okay, um, that was weird. Let's try that again. Oh, I know why. Because see how you can see the tip, but then I'm starting the animation at zero. So we want these to actually both be the same. So I'll start them both at negative 400, and that should make it look more smooth. Okay, run. There we go. Cool. And then, oh, because I changed the height of stuff, the, um, the little star isn't poking out anymore. So I'll do like 450 or something. Um, cool. All right. Thank you. I hope this was fun. It was fun for me. Whee! I'd have to add um, change that a bit more. All right. Cool. Thank you. Bye.